All right, hi guys. I hope all of you guys are doing good. Uh, we are here to discuss some of the important question that is having integration with pharmacology and biochemistry. With me, I'm having the dashing Dr. Amit Jain sir, who is the legend of biochemistry. And we'll see what are the uh, important biochemical uh, parameters that can be utilized in pharmacology or vice versa also we will be seeing, right? So yes. Amit Jain, over to you. Yeah, hi uh, everyone. And uh, these all the questions have been part of uh, the MCQs previously also, not exactly the question but yes uh, you know something related with them the topic so everything is uh, has been already being part of the mcqs so let, right. let's start with first question let's number start. one yes yeah. so i'll be going ahead with the very first question that which of the following is an inhibitor of atp citrate lyase and is utilized in the hypercholesterolemia and the options are rosuvastatin bempidoic acid cholecevalam and phenofibrate. So before we go on to the drug, I would like uh, to request Dr. Amit sir that please put some light on what is this ATP citrate lyase and its role in the cholesterol synthesis. Yes. Yeah. So sir. see Dr. Siraj, see. So right now you are sitting with me. So you are my student. Right. Right. So right. I will right. be your. So basically guys, what is ATP citrate lyase? See when, when we are doing the crab cycle, right? Okay, so what we make is the first product what we made is citrate. Huh? So the problem with mitochondria is that there is no transporter of acetyl-CoA from the mitochondria to cytoplasm. Suppose this is mitochondria and C for cytoplasm. So guys, what I want is acetyl-CoA to be present in the cytoplasm to make cholesterol and fatty acid. Right. So for this purpose, when we are going in the Krebs cycle, suppose the TCA cycle is being going on and the first product of TCA cycle is citrate and this is ATP and this is the citrate translocase, right? This is called a citrate translocase. Citrate will be sent out and so suppose this is a citrate and this citrate will be broken down by the enzyme in our MCQ that is ATP citrate lyase. lyase. So lyase means to break into the parts. So it is obviously we know it is made of two things acetyl coenzyme A and oxaloacetate and guys this acetyl CoA will enter into the pathway, two pathways that is cholesterol synthesis and in the fatty acid synthesis. So guys, both the pathways have this thing in common that is formation of this acetyl-CoA using ATP citrate lines. Oh, right. right. So, Dr. Right. Dr. So, Dr. Sir, excellent right. sir, I think I just revised my biochemistry again here mm -hmm. that ATP citrate lyase is involved in the cholesterol synthesis and this lyase is actually causing breakdown of citrate to oxaloacetate and acetyl coenzyme A, right? Mm -hmm. And imagine, I think the same thing that I would like to add here, sir, what will be the outcome if I simply go and if I inhibit this ATP citrate lyase, I think uh, this citrate will not be causing cholesterol synthesis yes. and that is exactly being done by our legendary drug here by the name of bempidoic acid right yes correct. so bempidoic acid now there are two things i want all my students to remember that a for atp citrate and b for bempidoic acid it's very easy yes. a and b right yes. atp citrate lies in it will be bempidoic acid now remember Currently, this bempidoic acid, it happens to be the next best alternative to statins, right? Yes. So, mm -hmm. if they are going to talk to you that there is a patient mm -hmm. and who is on statin, non-responsive to statin, even at the highest dose, yes. what is the next best choice? Again, that's going to be a clinical based scenario, yes, right? right? So, the next best choice for that scenario is going to be none other than your bempidoic acid. acid. So, I think that was one of the very quick, uh, you know, assimilation of these both subjects that we have seen here. Bempidoic yes. is the correct and how to remember? A for ATP synthate, uh, bempidoic acid, right? Yes. And what about the other options, sir? Rosuvastatin, we all know these are the statins. Uh, so, this is one of the HMG CoA reductase inhibitors. Yes, correct. HMG yes. CoA reductase inhibitor. Cholecevalam, it is one of the bile acid sequestrant. It's one of the resins, bile acid sequestrant. It chelates the bile acid. Anna? And phenofibrate, it's one of the fibrate. It's one of the PPAR, PPAR alpha agonist. PPAR, what is PPAR? Peroxisome proliferator activator receptor. Uh, PPAR alpha agonist. This is PPAR alpha agonist that is going to act via nuclear receptor. Once they are going to act via nuclear receptor, they will be causing transcription of certain genes that increase the formation of an enzyme known as your lipoprotein lipase. Yes. You see, if lipoprotein lipase is formed, this lipoprotein lipase, it is going to cause breakdown of triglycerides, right? So triglyceride ka breakdown, triglyceride ka metabolism will be taking place by lipoprotein lipase. So either you increase the lipoprotein lipase I, or you increase the activity of lipoprotein lipase, ultimately the triglyceride will be broken down, right? So PPAR alpha, how to remember this? That's the next best challenge, mm -hmm. that, you know, next important challenge that students should know. So I always used to say alpha will be fibrate, fa and phi, fa and phi, fa yes, phi, right? Fa -phi. 
Fafi. Right. <laughs> so that is something that we all can remember because there is something also called PPR gamma. So the gamma wala hota hai, gamma gamma glucose. So gamma is PPR glucose. gamma, right? Mm. So that is going to be pyoglitazone. It's going to be utilized so in diabetes, diabetes, right? So I think this is a quick, uh, you know. Revision yes. of these all topics. I yes. think we can take the next question, you sir. Yeah. Yeah. And and one more thing, guys. Yes. Uh, I want to add here, like you know, anything that you can use for the treatment of hypertriglyceridemia. I always talk about the best option is omega three fatty acids. That's right. right. The best is so omega three, which is like commonly prescribed, and they are you know activating the TG breakdown and increase the beta oxidation of fatty acids. Mm -hmm. Again, acting mm -hmm. through the PPARs. Right. That right. is also right. acting through the PPARs. Right. Right. Okay, guys. So let's take the next question, sir. Over to you. So guys, this is a name, right? That may sound something new for you, but we always cover this in uh, classes also. Incliseran is a long acting siRNA or the small interfering RNA that works to lower the plasma LDL cholesterol. It uses small interfering RNA based technology which degrades. Okay, so these are the options: PCSK9 mRNA in the liver, MTTP mRNA, gene coding for APOC2 and mRNA coding for APOA1. Right. So, guys, before proceeding to the name of the drug, right, right? Let me tell you one thing about siRNA. As we all know, guys, what we have to remember one line about the siRNA, which is most high yielding for all the exams, including NEET, PG, and NICT. The siRNA, or which is also called as RNA interference, right, guys? The name itself says RNA interference, or in short, that is called as RNAi. Sometimes we also write the name microRNAs. Right, see microRNAs, it is something that is made in our own body and siRNA is something that we can give exogenously, like you know, as for synthetic also we can use for as a mnemonic, right, okay. So guys, what they do simple, they, they interfere with the function of mRNA. So what is the function of mRNA? Suppose this is a gene and then single stranded mRNA. So guys, mRNA, what it does, it produces a protein, okay. So this is a new class of drug that will inhibit the conversion of mRNA to protein. Right now we have drugs which are inhibiting only proteins, right, enzymes. This is a drug which will inhibit the translation of mRNA, interfering with the function of mRNA, correct? So that is our drug in the MCQ. And uh, so Dr. Siraj, over to you. So what is that drug and how it acts? Actually, the Incliseran is a newly approved drug, sir. It is one of the PCSK9 inhibitor. And a PCSK9 and whenever they say about a PCSK9, there is something, there is a word that we use, it is known as your pro-protein. It's a big name. But yeah, pro-protein convertase subtilisine caxin, I think. caxin type 9. Yes. Now, what is the role of this one? Earlier, what we know that this PCSK9, it's like a Shani. Sir, Shani ka naam suna hoga na? Shani. Shani, haan. Shani ki shani. dasha jo hoti hai, right? So, Shani ko bolte hai ki Shani kaha pe hota hai? Humare kandhe pe hota hai. And it never does good to you. Hai na? Shani hmm. amesha bura kata. Bolta hai na ki tumhare saath bura ho raha hai, galat ho raha hai. That means kuch Shani ka prabhao hai, hai na? Kuch pooja karo hai na? Keep him happy. Hai na? To Shani ko happy rakhne ke liye thwa pooja karna padega. Ka. Samajh na? Pooja ki baat kar raha hum yaha pe, hai na? Pooja karna padega Shani ke liye. To this PCSK9 is like that Shani. कैसे? Usually क्या होता है? This is one LDL receptor that we have here. We are having one LDL receptor, and this LDL receptor is normally capable of taking at least around 150 cholesterol. 150 cholesterol को it will be taking inside the cell, right? But अभी recently what they found out that over this LDL receptor there is a shani जो इसके कंधे पे बैठा रहता है, and the name of this shani is your PCSK9, pro protein convertase caxin type 9. Mm -hmm. This PCSK9 normally, sir, it actually causes LDL receptor ka degradation. degradation right. Jo LDL receptor hai, apna normal kaam nahi kar pa raha uske piche is ka role paaya gaya. LDL receptor degradation. Now, see, earlier normal scenario mein, ya kisi kisi mein, normally humare aur aapke mein ho sakta hai, it will be working around 150 times. That means, mm -hmm. ek 50 cholesterol molecule ko, LDL, LDL molecule, molecule ko, it will be taking inside. Correct. LDL ko, it will be taking inside. Correct. Thik hai? And that will be broken down inside the cell. Mm -hmm. Thik hai? But this PCSK9, it was found in some group of people, mm -hmm. in some uh, group of people, those who are having some genetic abnormalities. Aur ye kya kar tha? LDL receptor ka degradation kar diya. Ab, whenever there is a LDL receptor degradation, will there be LDL receptor reuse? LDL receptor reuse is not seen. Not possible. Right? It not has seen. to be synthesized again. Right. LDL receptor will come again. That means, before it was 150, now it is 1. Right. It's broken down. So, what we did, I said that we have to do the same for such a shani. Right. And we need to do the puja. This puja is utilized 
यूजिंग अली है ना अली को यूज करेंगे सो वी आर हैविंग ए ड्रग दैट इज एलिरो जिसको फेमिलियल हाइपर कोलेस्ट्रोलिमिया होता है जेनेटिक कंडीशन है सो फेमिलियल हाइपर कोलेस्ट्रोलिमिया वाले सीनारियो में वी कैन यूज एलिरो की माप इवोलो की माप एंड द न्यू वर वन दैट यू हैविंग इज इंक्ली सिरा राइट इंक्ली सिरा एंड वन मोर थिंग फैमिलियल हाइपर कोलेस्ट्रोलिमिया इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज टाइप 2 हाइपरलिपिडीमिया सो डोंट फॉरगेट दैट बिकॉज़ यू नो द एग्जामिनर्स आर लाइक यू नो चूजिंग द नेम्स एज़ पर देयर कन्वीनियंस सो वी शुड नो दैम राइट 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 आई थिंक वी कैन टेक वन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अगेन यप राइट सर राइट Okay. About lomitapide. Yes. So lomitapide mm. is an inhibitor of microsomal Tg transfer protein. Inhibits mm. the formation of. Mm. So guys, these are the option which are all the lipoproteins. So before going further again, guys, we should know what is MTTP. That is microsomal Tg transfer protein. Right. So right. what does it do? As the name suggests, microsome present in the endoplasmic reticulum. Tg transfer. So it transfers the Tg to the apoB hundred and apoB forty eight. so when it transfers the tg to apo b48 right right this is formation of chylomicrons in the presence of mttp and if it is apo b100 then the formation of there will be formation of vldl so guys that is mttp so mttp is something that is making both chylomicrons and vldl vldl obviously in the liver we know and chylomicron in the intestine right so over to you so i think mtp inhibitor they are going to again the, the answer is directly so, related yes. uh, from the same discussion chylomicrons and vldl yes. definitely uh, will be reduced here and lomitapide is the name of the drug i think you can also remember very easily just by looking at the name hmm. so isme zyada tar to sir biochemistry wala part mein you have already clarified ki how yes, mttp yes. is involved in the formation of chylomicron hmm. and vldl and if i am going to give mttp inhibitor then what will happen usually this vldl and chylomicron the you know these are the cholesterol yes. that will be reduced right so this is a microsomal triglyceride transfer protein inhibitor mm-hmm. naam hai ye sab kuch right, mttp inhibitor microsomal transfer protein inhibitor aise yaad kar lo right that's, so that will be a good mnemonic yeah that's a simple mnemonic i would say yes. and that's what we try to no, i think the simple mnemonics are easier to remember yeah. because they are correlating with the name exactly uh-huh. exactly like you know if I, if i remember something that pooja ran away with ayush and you know these mnemonics i think they are <laughs> difficult to remember <laughs> right. okay. okay so i think that will be for this question and uh, in this image i think this is the same image oh ah, yeah that's the image only yeah, that's that, 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 uh, that we to, have covered only yeah we have already yes. covered okay there is one more question about five fluorouracil it's a chemotherapeutic agent used for the treatment of wide variety of malignancies definitely it's one of the uh, pyrimidine analog it's one of the pyrimidine analog and act by inhibiting which of the following enzymes so sir would you like to put some uh, light on the enzyme here the enzyme uh, yes uh, definitely the answer the for this is, question is yes. Uh, c yes that is thymidylate synthase thymidylate synthase right hmm. so yes basically uh, again it will be like you know it's a pyrimidine analog so basically yeah. pyrimidine synthesis will be compromised here i believe yeah so yes. basically See normally in the pyrimidine synthesis, the first product formed is uracil, right? Mm-hmm. And uracil has to be converted into cytosine and the thymidine. Mm-hmm. So and thymidine is required for DNA synthesis. Oh, right. Okay. So if I take uh, let's say if I take DUMP that is deoxyuridine monophosphate as a product of pyrimidines, it has to be converted into thymidine monophosphate. So guys, the difference between U and T is very simple. So purines have a single ring basically, right? And on the fifth carbon, which is empty right now. so if i put something on the fifth carbon okay let's say 
if i put the methyl group on the fifth carbon using the folate as a donor of methyl groups uh, so i'll be using like you know folic acid as a donor of methyl group so guys this fifth position is now occupied by methyl group and now it is known as thymidine uracil to thymidine right but like dr siraj now if if we put the fluorine atom here Okay, that will be our five fluorouracil. Mm, okay, mm. so we'll not be able to convert, convert this into this the thymidine. Right. So this is the name of enzyme that is called as thymidylate synthase. Synthase. Okay, thymidylate synthase. So can I say that fluorouracil, five fluorouracil, is an inhibitor of this thymidylate synthase? Yes. Yes, and so, that is why if thymidylate synthase is gone, there will be no thymidine formation. Correct. If there is no thymidine synthesis, can we say that this drug can lead to a cell death that is without thymidine and we are going to call it as a thymidine-less thymidine. cell death? Yes. Thymidine-less death? Definitely. And this was the question that was asked very, very uh, recent examination by 2023. Mein. Thymidine-less death will be caused by... So, I think pyrimidine analog like 5 fluorouracil is a drug that will be causing thymidine-less death. That is one of the important questions. Yes. Second thing that you should know that one of the oral prodrug of the same oral prodrug of 5-fluorouracil, uh, uh, it is known as your capacitabine. Capacitabine. Now, how to remember this one? Oral prodrug is capacitabine and the important side effect that we have is, uh, although they will be causing all the side effects, yes. like bone marrow suppression, alopecia, mm -hmm. nausea, vomiting, mm -hmm. but the specific side effect that they are going to cause is known as your hand and foot syndrome. So, this mm -hmm. is an important question, hai, thymidylate synthase inhibitor, 5-fluorouracil, so 5. हाथ में कितने फिंगर है फाइव फाइव फिंगर हाथ से रिलेटेड है तो हैंड एंड फुट सिंड्रोम इन एडिशन टू द अदर साइड इफेक्ट नोजिया वोमिटिंग एलोपेशिया बोन मेरो सप्रेशन वो सब है बट फाइव फ्लोरोयूरासिल एंड कैपेसिटाबिन बोथ ऑफ देम कैपेसिटाबिन एंड आल्सो फाइव फ्लोरोयूरासिल फाइव फ्लोरोयूरासिल दे बोथ विल बी कॉजिंग कैपेसिटाबिन इज अ ओरल प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द सेम राइट सो थाइमिडाइलेट अ सिंथेसिस इनहिबिटर फाइव फ्लोरोयूरासिल इट विल बी कॉजिंग थाइमिडीन लेस सेल डेथ राइट Right. So this will be about few of the important integrated question that we wanted to discuss with all of you guys. I hope uh, that all of you guys have enjoyed and we can uh, have more such session like this. Let us know in the comment box. Thank yes, you very much. Please let us know in the comment box whether you liked it and if you want more sessions like that. Thank Definitely. you so much guys. Thank you very much.